The situation regarding women's rights uh, reflects uh, how weak is our democracy. That, uh, uh, in in fact, uh, mm, the society w which uh, is not uh, mm, uh, much more conservative than many other European uh, countries uh, um, still uh, has no any power or is not able to influence their politicians. This is, I would say, it's vice versa. This is, these are the conservative politicians with the mission, and uh, some of them are really fanatic, which push for their vision to be implemented. Znaczy, no moim zdaniem w ogóle nie ma społeczeństwa obywatelskiego i zasadniczo rzecz biorąc no, kłopot z, u nas z, z tym, że jesteśmy katolikami, czy mamy dużą skłonność do bycia hipokrytami mm. i jednocześnie mamy, że tak powiem, doświadczenie byłego reżimu, gdzie wiele ludzi obawia się, że gromadzi się na nich no, te kwity, mm -hmm. że zasadniczo rzecz biorąc, no rzeczywiście taka moja praca, że tak powiem, właśnie z, z ofiarami zgwałcenia nawet, mm. które miały na przykład prawo do tego, żeby mieć aborcję, no, wykazuje, że one nie chcą tego robić legalnie. Znaczy, że zasadniczo rzecz biorąc, nawet ta ustawa, która jest obecnie, jest niekonsumowana. As far as abortion question is concerned, certainly you can observe that the society which in the very beginning when the abortion debate has started was completely not supportive to, the, to restrictions. But after now uh, 17 years of debates, permanent debates, uh, of course the language has changed and positions of many members of the society also became more, I would say, re restrictive, uh, and also a new generation of people uh, were born for whom restrictive legislation is a legal reality of this country. When I was born, for me, it was obvious that abortion is legal, but for new generations, this is the reality, and for them, a liberalizing would be something, a, a radical change. Polityka rządu obecnie w Polsce prorodzinna polega na lansowaniu modelu rodziny z dużą ilością dzieci. Konserwatywny model rodziny propagowany przez partie prawicowe w Polsce nie przystaje do rzeczywistości. Bo po pierwsze, polska rodzina się rozpada, co piąte małżeństwo kończy się rozwodem. Ponadto oficjalnie ponad milion Polaków wyemigrowało szukając pracy za granicą. Mówi się naprawdę o dwóch milionach, czyli następuje także rozpad związków. A coraz więcej kobiet jest wykształcony i nie chce zostać w domu, tylko prosi o elastyczny czas pracy. I tu się rozmijają dążenia grup organizacji kobiecych z tym, co stara się wprowadzić rząd. W tej chwili w Polsce nie ma żadnej partii, która by głośno odważyła się powiedzieć, że kobieta ma prawo usunąć ciążę, jeżeli widzi taką potrzebę. Mm -hmm.
There was no natural civil society development uh, under communism. The natural movement was broken. So, for example, in in the beginning of the uh, in uh, before the World War Two, we had a lot of women's groups of all kinds, from feminist type into more like women's kind, those charity groups. But that was completely, you know, closed and disappeared. And so in the beginning of the 90s, we had to start from the beginning. So, so this is one of the reasons that, you know, for many years was nothing. So, and, and of course, in this case, when the church is a very important key player on the scene, and even the strongest movement wouldn't be successful to oppose. And what if you have, you can count organizations with your fingers. Probably the, the most visible was the, the, the fact that women's groups got very much involved in, in gay pride. <laughs> LGBT groups are very active on our manifests, as we call them, to, so this our parades, I mean, 8 March parades. So we both uh, support us also because we, we know that we, we both are in similar situation and we have to, 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 to work together. Some of us are just left-wing left -wing activists because uh, pro-choice uh, um, pro demonstrations, demonstrations uh, are organized also by workers' associations. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, the miners were um, our um, security group on our demonstrations, and they are uh, really involved and they, they treat the, the abortion, they, they think about abortion in a very emotional way. They are very pro choice, Polish mm -hmm. miners are very pro choice. Uh, the reality here, one uh, is based on a, a, a principle. Um, idea that I mean you have to see sexuality in a product uh, reproduction a reproduction in holistic um, way and all kinds of oppression oppressions uh, um, uh, although personally may not affect us but they uh, affect in more general terms the problem is n not that uh, you've got uh, only one point of view about abortion but but the problem is that whole uh, discussion about abortion is uh, is uh, moved into right, but really, really into radical right. stereotypes about you and you can't say what you are really think but you have to fight with the stereotypes about you yeah so so the the, the, the main thing is not what uh, what is your idea but you as a person who is pro-choice who is I don't know uh, bad uh, without uh, any moral uh, feelings or something like this. The general attitude of media, if I were to generalize, has um, uh, has changed a lot since the beginning of 90s until now. Uh, at that time, there were there have been much more sensitivity. Although we were criticizing a lot the media at that time, but now when I compare, I see that they were much more sensitive to this issue than now, uh, and they were showing much more of. Uh, of uh, life, of women who spoke about their experience or women's position. Now, if, you, if this issue is addressed in the media, which happens very rarely, uh, there are mainly politicians who speak. In every case, I observe constantly that the examples of conversations in such a situation, programs and processes, are women. Women do not have the right to women are such a Thank you.